Hello Playmation here. This is just going to be a quick little uh, Lego collection room tour. Uh, part one. This is one of my two rooms. It's actually at my parents' house. Uh, I've moved out, but my house is kind of small, so they let me keep a lot of my Lego here. And this is kind of where I like to keep a lot of my nicer displays out. We'll uh, start at the beginning of the room here where I have some of my rare and miscellaneous minifigures. I've got the uh, Chrome C-3PO, Vader, Stormtrooper, White Boba Fett, TC-14. Maybe one day I'll put uh, New York Yoda there. And some other characters that don't really belong, like the Yellow Hoth and Han Leia and logoed uh, troops and smooth hair Leia. And I have the poly bags for a lot of my collection as well. I got all three of those sealed when I got them. Over here I have the Darth Vader mosaic from uh, last year's mosaic sets. I like it quite a lot. It's a very nice display piece as well as I've got a flux capacitor and some stuff I need to hang down there. There's a few things just kind of hanging around loosely in here. Up here I've got Jarek's uh, TIE Advance and TIE Fighter Mock as well as the buildable Yoda set. Mine is modified. I gave it a necklace and cane, more like how you see them in Empire Strikes Back. Over here is uh, R2-D2 and BB-8 BB with the May 4th promos for the two of them. Here's Jarek's X-Wing, which I've also modified, but mostly still the same. It's a very nice model. And here's the original 2003 Cloud City. I also have the new Bespin car with it as well. I have the newer version of the set, but it's been taken down and used for my Bespin mock. And down here I've got the original Ada and uh, second Snow Speeder. Those two go together really well. Over here, I've got my original trilogy minifigure collection. It starts with Luke and goes all the way over here. Um, if I were to take these two sands off the shelf, it kind of starts here, zigzags down, and then keeps going down there. I've got every uh, figure that LEGO's made so far for the original trilogy, Cloud City, Boba Fett there. Um, the only figure I'm currently missing is the A-Wing pilot from the UCS A-Wing that came out last year. And then the collection stops here at 2020. I'm kind of out of space on my stands now. I've got uh, 2021 figures starting to go here. I'm thinking that uh, I'll probably just start making stands for each year after this and either keep this the way it is or uh, maybe arrange them all by year one time. But right now I've got it all by character and I like that quite a bit. It's nice to see the evolution of all the minifigures. And down here I have all of the prequel minifigures. Um, again, I'm only missing a couple of the more recent ones. There's a trooper that came in General Grievous' Starfighter this year. I think that's the only figure I'm missing right now. Um, I've also got a couple random Clone Wars figures I just happen to have. I don't really plan on collecting all of the Clone Wars, but maybe I will. I have some of the figures. And down here I've got some May 4th promos and kind of other miscellaneous uh, sets and whatnot. I've got the Tantive 4 here, as well as Jarek's TIE Bomber and the UCS Y-Wing. Up here we've got all the 20th Anniversary minifigures, as well as the Han Solo Frozen Carbonite keychain. Uh, Boba Fett bust, I plan on getting the other two uh, helmets. And uh, Slave 1. Millennium Falcon and Imperial Shuttle, as well as the uh, Bespin Duel promotional set from last year. I like that set quite a lot. Um, I am missing some stuff off these shelves. Usually I also have Jarek's A-Wings here, as well as the Space Slug promo and uh, the Luke and Han Solo uh, Death Star Rescue set. Those are over at my place right now. Um, Things kind of rotate back and forth between the two locations, but um, yeah, we'll keep going on. Up here we've got an ATST mock um, with a custom stand. These stands come with the planet sets. I like using them quite a bit to 
display the ships that they go with. Um, got some custom speeders here, as well as the buildable figure Scout Trooper speeder bike set. It's the only type of that set I have. I like it a lot. It's a nice display piece. And here I have some non-LEGO Back to the Future stuff. My Nike Air Mags. Pepsi Perfect bottle if you're into Back to the Future. Um, you might enjoy all this stuff uh, or know how rare some of it is. And over here I've got um, quite a lot of movie posters. Um, got my Avengers poster here. It's signed by all the main cast and Stan Lee and others. Um, I love that poster. I'm really glad I have it. And over here we've got some other minifigures. I've got Star Wars brickheads, a high ground mock, some more brickheads, um, and then a bunch of minifigure collections. We've got uh, Spongebob, Star Wars holiday figures, um, Simpsons, 60s Batman, uh, Force Awakens, Indiana Jones, Ghostbusters, the original line of Batman figures, Scooby-Doo, uh, X-Men, uh, this is the only one that's not complete. I've got the Lego Batman movie figures. This stand's actually not big enough for all of them. I'm not really planning on completing this collection anytime too soon. Uh, Disney, this will need a bigger stand. I've got the train set minifigures and Series 2 and Steamboat Willie figures all to get added on there. Uh, here's all of the Toy Story figures from the 2010 to Toy Story 4 era minifigures. It's got all of them. Um, everything from the Incredibles and Western, which is my favorite um, kind of original Lego theme. I know it's not like one of the original four, but it's one of my favorite non-licensed themes. Over here I've got some miscellaneous boxes and whatnot, and a few sets. There's a few Force Awakens things in there, as well as a few other random whatever stuff. Um, some TIE Fighters. The blue ones from 2004. This is that Ultimate TIE Fighter set. I don't have the extra expanded universe ship in there. I don't even remember what it's called right now. Um, yeah, and then a few more miscellaneous things, some South Park figures and Adventure Time, uh, the original LEGO Millennium Falcon, uh, three of the LEGO Y-Wings, some Tatooine stuff in there, the 2009 Tantive IV, which is where I got my smooth hair Leia from. I actually got it with the set, I didn't have to buy it separately. 2006 Star Destroyer, 2008 Death Star, which is probably my favorite LEGO set. Uh, Disney Castle over here, some Hoth stuff, we've got Rich Boy Jay's uh, AT-AT here, it's a little bit modified, I did some of my own things to it, kind of like smooth out these, the panels aren't on hinges like on how his model are, they're actually connected with Technic pins, but maybe that'll be for another time. Down here I've got some episode 2 stuff, normally I have a little bit more, some of it's at my house like I mentioned before, I've just got the Bounty Hunter Pursuit Chase there. 2004 Dagobah set, 2004 Millennium Falcon, which is my favorite LEGO version of the Millennium Falcon. Kind of anything from around the 2004 to 2007 era is kind of my favorite, around when the LEGO video games came out. Any ship or set that was in the games is my favorite version, usually. <laughs> Same with the Slave one here. Down here I've got the Razor Crest and uh, Mandalorian sets. This is a custom set you can get at Brick Vault. The, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Eagle 5 from Spaceballs. We've got some Indiana Jones stuff down there. Uh, the original 2002 Republic gunship, his wing has to be a little bit up to fit in the shelf there. I would like him to be displayed somewhere else one day in the 501st Battle Pack. Over here we've got the 2007 MTT, another favorite childhood set of mine. Uh, right here we've got, this is the most recent Anakin's Pod Racer. I actually have every version of Anakin's Pod Racer, same with Saboba. Uh, I just don't have everything out on display, but that's the 2011 Saboba pod, or pod Racer. Up here we've got a custom Nebu Starfighter. Sorry, the lighting's a little bit bad in here. Uh, Vulture Droid and my Droidica Destroyer Droids. This is my custom Bespin mock. I have a video on that if you want to see more of it. Uh, final duel here, 
the original LEGO X-Wing with its box. Uh, Jabba's Sail Barge from 2006, another favorite of mine. As well as Jabba's Palace, Rancor Pit, and uh, Desert Skiffall from the 2012-13 era. And then up here we've got some Endor stuff. Uh, the Endor Village is missing, or missing a lot of the branches and leaves on it right now. Uh, when we moved into this house, I took them all off and put them in a bag and haven't reattached them. As well as the Rogue One ATST and Bunker and 2015 Imperial Shuttle. And that just about does it for this room. This is kind of my main display stuff that I like to have out. And there is just a little bit more to show you. All right, time for part two. We've got uh, the NES over here. Uh, the shelves in a bit of disarray. Ghostbusters and Back to the Future stuff. Uh, Lego Batman. And I have my Imperial Shuttle, or not Imperial Shuttles, uh, Star Destroyer here. Taken apart, just finished uh, shooting some scenes with it a couple weeks ago for my uh, Lego Star Wars movie, so he's just waiting to get put back together. Uh, he's just sitting there comfortably in the meantime. He's got some parts up here. There was stuff on display on the shelf, but not currently. And yeah, over here we've got some Lego store promos and sets. Some cars and mini modulars, a uh, custom Lego store I built. And then the modular buildings. I haven't gotten a lot of the more recent ones after the diner, and I'd like to get the Times Square before it retires, but I've um, got all of them up to the diner, aside from Town Hall and the original three. They always look nice together. Uh, 89 Batmobile, uh, Dark Knight minifigures, Friends set, um, Lego Dimensions minifigures, uh, all my Marvel MCU figures, Jurassic Park, I made that when the one set came out, but now there's a lot more to collect, so I'll need to expand that, and then some Old West sets. Uh, Simpsons house down here, as well as some other stuff. This is a custom build from when they did the Lego couch gag. Uh, Quickie Mart. Mickey and Minnie mosaic. I've got a Buzz and Woody here. And then this is a TIE Interceptor that needs to make its way into the other room there. And these are my 1999 Pepsi cans from when Pepsi did a promotion for Phantom Menace. Uh, in Canada, there was 20 to collect. In the US, there was 24. I've got full 20 here. And that's it for this area. Uh, last thing to show you in the basement here is um, all these bins and boxes that kind of go deep behind the stairs between them are also all full of sets I just don't have out or on display. Like you can see Arkham Asylum in there, some a lot of Marvel in there. Uh, I've got a lot of Star Wars sets in here. And instruction books and whatnot. There's quite a bit going on back there, but it's all packed up. So yeah, that wraps up the tour. So this shelf I forgot to mention is right outside the other room. That's the room that I started in, and it kind of comes out over here in the basement. And yeah, that's gonna be it for today. See you on the next one.